Hi, I'm Ilya from Bitscout. In this short video, I wanted to show you how you can extract data from a file invoices that are loaded into SharePoint to your Excel. Obviously, as we're going to be using Power Automate, you can use any other tool, not necessarily Excel. But I wanted to show you how to work with SharePoint in this case and Bitscout. Now, the first thing that you need to do is create a trigger in Power Automate. In this case, I'm using a trigger when a file is created or modified. Now, in your case, you should use when a file is created. I'm using modified part because I want I don't want to load many files. I just change the name and, and run a demo for you. But in your case, it's when the file is created. Now, next thing in the site address, you need to specify the whole SharePoint site, like the, the whole thing. Uh, for example, here I have a BitScout test. This is, this is my site. So I put the whole URL and then you need to, then you need to choose the library name. Uh, inside the library, I'm not using any folder, so I left it empty. And this will get us only the information about the file, not the file itself. So we need the second step, which is called get file content using path. Again, you should specify the same site address, but then in here, let me show you how. Uh, in file path, you choose the file path from a previous step, and it should be a file path. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, and it's called full path. All right, not the folder, but the full path. And that's it. Now, the next step is to use BitScout to extract data from an invoice. To do that, you just need to write a small expression called base64 open brackets and inside the brackets you need to put file content from a previous step. And then this will allow you to map the data directly into Excel. In this case, I'm using just a test Excel. So I'm just going to grab some data that is there, but you can map everything that you need. All right, let's save this and let's run a test. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this invoice and I'm just going to rename it, which will trigger the change. Okay. In your case, you might want need to load the file into the folder Again, that is how it's going to be triggered. But then now the, um, the whole thing will start running. So as you can see, is it running now? It's on a bit scout step. And then the data will appear here in the fields. Okay. So here is our data. You can again map all the fields, but for this example, I, I was using only three of them. All right. And this is how in basically four steps, you can automate fully automate invoice extraction to whatever tool. Thanks a lot for your time.